Only reason because some some fighters they'll be like, nope, immediate title shot. But then sometimes they don't do that. Like Woodley didn't get an immediate title rematch. You know what I mean? Right. Like, well, no. Who did Usman fight after Woodley? Nobody. We've talked about this. Usman was out for a little bit with, I believe, a groin injury or uh, something like that. Right. So he had him. I tell you what, ready for this? If something happens to Covington, who's filling that spot? It should be Woodley, but it's probably going to be, I would think, Leon Edwards because Leon Edwards has like a. No way. Oh, yeah. I'm saying it could be Masvidal. It could be Woodley. Oh, when's the flight again? December 14th. December 14th. Yeah, Masvidal, Masvidal could be ready by then. He but... said he has some hand problems. So, like, he said he wants a little bit of time off to heal his hand shit. So, let's say – or vice versa. Well, no, Kobe – does he still have the intimate title? Is it is his title even rel- like? Does it hold any? Is it anything? Right according now? to the UFC, no. But according to him, him, this is his second title defense <laughs> against Kamar Usman. <laughs> <laughs> like he said that at the press conference, and I was like, oh, that's that's a gr- that is a great line. <laughs> he was like, you know, I already beat. I had my first title defense against Robbie Lawler, and I liked that guy. And you saw what I did to him. I don't even fucking like this guy, so watch what I do to him. And he was talking about Kamara. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Bro, even their back and forth is funny. Like, I mean, Usman obviously isn't like a comedian like that. Yeah. But his rebuttals are funny because you could see that he's, like, dealing with Colby. It's who's, funny because he'll be like. Psh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could see that he's dealing with, like, a jokester. So he's like, what the fuck did he just? And then at one point, so every time U- Usman started talking, Colby Covington would pick up a book and start reading. And then he'd be like, bro, can you even fucking read? And he was like, I went to D- D1. You went to D2, you scrub. <laughs> you know? Uh, and then Usman was hang like. Hang on, who went D1? Uh, Colby. Where? Um, Where was he? No, he was a D1 wrestler. No, he. he Oregon I, State. He was a JUCO national champion at the same school as Jones, and then he transferred to Oregon. Uh, which, where did he do there? Um, I think he was a Pac-10 champion. And maybe an All American. Was he? Yeah. Because I know he could wrestle Chris Wade. He beat Chris Wade in the JUCO Nationals. Yeah. But Wade, like, what Wade was fucking wrestling? Heavy, yeah. Yeah, Wade was wrestling at like what? What is the seventy weight class? Seventy four. I think it was at seventy four. Yeah. So yeah, Oregon State. He was a. A state champion in high school. He went to Iowa Central and was the 165 national champion as a true freshman. Oh, so was it at 65 he beat Wade? Maybe. So, yeah, he's a All-American and two-time Pac-10 conference champion. All right. And then even um, I think he had whatever, you know, like John Jones. Like John Jones didn't get a D1 ride because he had problems in high school and fucking probably shitty grades. Yeah. Like, I think Colby had whatever, problems in high school and then shitty grades. And then even I think Colby, similar like Lance Palmer, it was funny. He said he had a DUI and just, like, got in some trouble. Like, I believe Colby had a DUI in college, too. Mm. And that was part of why he, like, transferred out of Iowa Central. Wild. Yeah. Bro, and then one funny thing like that he was talking about, he was like, John Jones been hitting me up about this dude. Who? Was it Woodley who said it? Someone, Woodley or Usman said, no, uh, was it Woodley? I think Woodley said it. Woodley was like, yo, uh, John Jones was hitting me up about Colby for fucking mad long, saying he's a scumbag. Oh. And that nobody, you know, that he was a piece of shit in college and nobody liked him, so don't get, oh, no, was it Usman? No, no, Masvidal is who said it. Masvidal said he spoke to John Jones, and John Jones was like, watch out for that dude. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it was Masvidal who said it. yeah, yeah. yeah. So people really hating on Colby. We had even Randa Marcos, not a big Colby fan. I think he's fucking funny. Like, I think even as cringy as it is, I laugh at that. I shit. haven't seen enough of his stuff. It's almost some yeah. of it's so corny that it's funny. But then even like, um, oh, what did he do? At one point, he one left. thing I will give him. He hasn't veered from being the villain. And I love that. Yes. I hate when guys like are dicks or whatever naturally and people just don't like them because they're a fucking dick. But then they're like, no, like, come on, man. Like, like me. Like, come on. Like, I like you. Like, I like when they're like, boo. He's like, yeah, yeah. 
you know, like. Well, that's what he did at the press conference yeah. when they were booing awesome. him and stuff. And he was then like, even, bro, it's just so funny. Like when they were talking, and then at points he was like, "Kamara, just shut up." He's like, "Every time you talk, we're losing pay per view sales. Just sit there and shut up. No one wants to hear you." But the New York crowd was very pro Usman. Yeah. Every time Usman went like this, they made noise. Every time Usman, like, he started, like, two or three chants, and they chanted for him. And then every time Colby talked, they booed the shit out of him. Yeah. Yeah. And then Max and Alex just sat there. Alex, I don't even think they asked one question. They didn't speak English. And they didn't have a translator with them. Uh, Alex who? Does he speak English, Alex Boganowski? Yeah. Oh, I thought he's. Oh, I keep. I always think he's a Russian. But the, I don't even no. think they asked him one question. All right, so what else we got? I believe that'll Hang be. Hang on, real quick. Who made the the what? Trump? Because uh, I know, I think didn't Masvidal like, like take a stab at Kobe? Like, you want to fight in front of the president? I'm actually fighting in front of the president. Yeah, like you wanted the fight. You wanted the president to come to your fights. The president's coming to my fight. But even then, like it was a, it's all rhetoric and going back and forth. I believe what Dana White said was. That him and Trump have been trying to plan him coming to a live UFC event for a minute, and this was just the one that worked out schedule wise. And then Colby was saying like, Trump made this plan because he thought I was going to be fighting Usman, but Usman didn't take the fight. Oh, and then even that he was throwing That's mad. That's funny. Yeah, he was throwing mad shade at Usman. He was like, the only reason we didn't fight here is because he has to get the EPO out of his system. Tell him, and he was like, tell him, tell him, uh, Marty, <laughs> tell him. <laughs> and then that's why Usman came out with his shirt off, like to flex on him. Uh, yeah, it was funny. I could see that it gets to Usman a little bit, or at yeah. least in my t- it seems like it gets to him a little bit. But like, I got excited as a fight fan for their face off because you yeah. could see. Yeah, it was real. Yeah, it's real. And like, you know what I hate? Like, look, you're in the top 15 in the world. Every fighter has, like, has that little bit of fear before a fight, like that, oh, I don't want to lose this fight. Yeah. But people say, like, they're afraid. Like, Colby wouldn't fight so-and-so because he's afraid. Usman is like Woodley. He never fights because he's afraid. They're not afraid. Who are they saying they're afraid of? Other people. You know what I mean? Like, people say, people say Usman is now, like, the new Tyron Woodley. Like, remember how Woodley, like, would go get injured uh, and then not fight for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, 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 They say, like, Usman's just trying to hold on to the belt. Yeah. And he's afraid of fighting people. He's yeah. hurt. And shit just hasn't lined up. It, I mean, here's here's two things. One, being a fighter, like, I've, I've sat with my manager, and we've looked at the whole division, and we went, all right, we want this fight, this fight, this fight. Like, it's almost like... Pick your pick the easiest path to get to the title. Yeah, if we can avoid Jeremy Stevens, we'll avoid that motherfucker. Like you know. Yeah. I remember like the phone call came like ah, uh, Clay Guida. And I was like, and I was like ah, all right. He's like he's like I don't love the fight. He's super tough. He's fucking. You know what I mean like, but it's just he's in like there's no going around him. Like we gotta knock. We gotta I'm like all right. You know? Like, they want this fight. Like, the UFC wanted that Yeah, fight. it yeah. was like... And at that point, Clay was like, right. Clay was like the gatekeeper for, like, the top eight. Yeah. Yeah, like, if you yeah. beat Clay, it's like, all right, so he's up yeah. here because yeah. Clay hangs out yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Every every team, every... I mean, like, will, will I say yes to the whole division? Yes, I would have. But, like, with my manager being my, like, guy leading the way, like, all right, let's try and get this, like. Yeah, let's fit, let's do this strategically you know, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Let's 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 line up certain fights so when we beat this guy, the next guy we want to fight is available when we want to fight again. Well, just like, that's what I'm just saying. Fans say, like, that dumb shit. Like, oh, he's scared. Like, none of these guys are afraid of each other. None of them are like, yo. Then. Let's say you are a little banged up, but the title fight is there. You think you can win. You take that fucking fight. You win. Lewis coming in here looking sharp. Yeah. Sharp as fuck. Killing the game. You win. And then, like, you fucking... You get all the surgery you need, so you're 100 to defend that title. Yeah. It's like, yo, I need surgery or I'm healing an injury. It's like, nah, you're a pussy and you're afraid of me. Nah. Yeah. Now, also, on the same token, like, I'm getting... Like, probably, they're probably getting the most sponsorship they've ever had because they have the belt. Like, go ahead, milk that shit. Yeah. 
for sure. You know what I mean? You're, you got the belt. Fucking try to get in there when you're as healthy as possible, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Don't fucking just take a fight just because you got to take a fight. You right. know, just because right. UFC's offering you something. Tell them you're not ready because you're actually not ready. Yeah. But even uh, what was the other thing? Oh, what was I going to say? Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Lewis, but, could you get me one of the, more of these things? Can I get one more of these? Yep. Stan needs one, too. Sure. <laughs>